As Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton took to the stage for the first US presidential debate yesterday, viewers from around the world took to social media to weigh in on the discussion. But one of the biggest players online, Facebook, has been accused of liberal bias. Associate Professor Michael Brand is a data scientist from Monash University and joins me now from Melbourne. Uh, Michael Brand, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Let's just talk about these accusations against Facebook. This is against a, a button that uh, they can put on people's pages. Well, thank you, Kumi. Facebook has been uh, accused of uh, several things throughout the years. It has been accused recently of uh, liberal bias in its news reporting, um, where it used a, a set of uh, human editors to make editorial decisions, some of which were labeled as, uh, as biased towards liberal. Facebook has made uh, uh, quite substantial changes in how they handle uh, the news feed and, in fact, fired this entire staff. To me, that doesn't necessarily mean that the uh, bias or any bias is gone. When you report the news, there is inherently a bias. And if your um, editorial staff happens to be a staff of computers, uh, you will still have the same kind of biases. Uh, in, in that respect, Facebook is very much like any other media uh, company. And uh, while Facebook has denied that they are a media company, uh, considering themselves a tech company, uh, this is uh, the reporting of the news is what media companies do. Uh, but there are other ways in which Facebook has got itself into the political game, and uh, they, are, they are of different sorts. And specifically, my concern is around the issue of the I voted button, which is a button that allows people to see who among their friends voted and then to uh, press the button to say that they themselves have voted. Now, this is a different thing altogether. The information that you get of who else voted is a sort of peer pressure and experiments in Facebook together with the University of uh, California, San Diego, have shown that, they are, uh, that this peer pressure is effective. The uh, number of uh, votes uh, increased by 340,000 when they uh, uh, tried uh, using the button on, on 61 million people and measured the effect. Now, why, uh, why is that different? It's different because of the button press. As soon as you press the button, you are part of the experiment. You are giving Facebook information that otherwise they would not have. And at this point, they are able to tell exactly how various parts of the population, old people, young people, more educated people, less educated people, various uh, sectors of the population that have a correlation with how they vote and how people vote is information that is quite easy to, to detect from Facebook likes, whether you are politically active or not. And as soon as you have that information of how people vote and you know how your uh, actions affect, then you have power. You know what anything that you may do is going to, to do to the final vote. And my take on that is that at this point you have responsibility. So what kind of responsibility? You're saying that Facebook uh, shouldn't have this because they have responsibility th over that data. They could basically say, well, this is just a benign kind of way in which to get people to engage and to actually head out and vote. So yes, they, they could say that it's just a benign way uh, to get people to head out and vote, but they have the information that shows what biases this benign way introduces, and it certainly will, no matter how they implement it, it certainly will introduce a, a bias. For example, we know that in the present election, um, uh, Democrat youths uh, tend to not go out and vote and uh, if they are uh, more engaged in Facebook, if they are uh, more persuaded by uh, the peer pressure that the button presents, then this will affect them more than the corresponding uh, Republican uh, uh, side. Uh, same thing for uh, level of education, which is a very uh, clear marker of, of political uh, affiliation in, in America. Uh, the uh, higher level of education that you have, the more likely you are to support the Democrat Party, but also the more likely that you will be spending more hours in front of the computer, which means that you will have more exposure to the, to the button. So these are just two examples, and it happens to be that both of these examples will benefit Hillary Clinton. Fascinating, uh, fascinating insights, Michael Brand, Professor of Data Science. So appreciate your time. Thanks so much for dropping in today. Thank you very much.